From the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day. For it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how many times I yearn to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned, but I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to live a holy life, two minimum requirements. Number one, you must avoid sin by avoiding the occasion that make you fall into sin. You must avoid sin by avoiding the occasion that makes you fall into sin. Hindi lang yung iiwasan mo ang kasalanan, iiwasan mo ang lahat ng pwedeng maging kadahilanan ng pagkakasala. And second, you must increase your love for God. That love must be powerful enough to despise anything that will come in between your relationship with God. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it is not enough that you say, I will not commit sin. You must avoid anything that makes you fall into it. Some people have just decided not to commit sin, but they indulge in occasion that eventually will make them fall into sin. Kahit kailan, hindi mo pwedeng sabihing hindi na ako maninigarilyo ko ang kamay mo palagi may hawak na sigarilyo. Kahit kailan hindi mo pwedeng sabihing hindi na ako magiinom na ang bahay ninyo ang tokador punong-puno ng alak. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, kahit kailan hindi mo pwedeng sabihing ako ang abit pero palagi mong kasama ay hindi mo asawa. You must avoid the occasion. There must be a previous decision not to do it. Second, you must increase your love for God. How big, how great is your love for God? A person commits adultery for one simple reason. It is not that he was tempted, but, but because his love for his wife is not that great. Hindi talaga ganong kalaki ang pag-ibig mo sa iyong asawa. Merong isang kwento kung saan ang isang lalaki umuwi ng lasing na lasing sa bahay. Lasing na lasing. Nang pumasok, hindi malang lang nailak ang gate. Ang pinto ay hindi malang lang naisara. Maraming paso ang nabasag dahil ilang beses siyang natumba. Pagdating sa bahay, ang daming nabasag na gamit. At pagdating sa kwarto, ni hindi na kayang magbihis. Hindi na kayang magbihis. Ngunit kinabukasan, ang kanyang misis ay punong-puno ng pagmamahal sa kanya. Pinaghanda siya ng almusal 
at siya'y nagtataka. Alam niyang marami siyang nabasag. Bakit ganun ang reaksyon ng kanyang misis? At nagkwento ang misis, sabi niya, Alam mo, galit ako. Kaya lang, nung binibihisan kita kagabi, wala kang sinasabi na, Huwag! Huwag! May asawa ako. Huwag! Huwag! May asawa ako. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it is not only the conscious, but even the unconscious within you. There is all. There must be a decision not to commit sin, to avoid the occasion, and you must increase your love for God. That's why, regardless, perhaps of the incoming trouble, you will be strong enough to say. Go and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons and I perform healing today and tomorrow. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Magmamahal ako ngayon, magmamahal ako bukas, at mamahalin ko siya hanggang sa susunod na araw. We have a Saint Santa Maria Goretti who allowed death to come by saying no to sin, there was already a previous decision not to commit. And this is the grace we would like to ask, brothers and sisters. Hopefully, our love for God is great enough to despise anything that will come in between our relationship with God. And second, we will do our best not only to avoid the sin, but to avoid the occasion that can make us fall into sin. Amen.